following up on yesterday's story that former Trump aide and Breitbart propagandist Stephen Bannon is being indicted again, again for his build the wall scam. It has happened yesterday. Stephen Bannon did indeed surrender to the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. He made quite a scene. Here is Bannon showing up and he starts screaming and then someone in the crowd is screaming and it's just a complete and total mess. This is irony on the very day the mayor of this city has a delegation down on the border. They're persecuting people here. They're trying to stop on the border. So Bannon yelling about the border, a bystander yelling, stop hurting America. What a mess. Take a step back. You a greasy grifter I like. I, I have to tell you that I like. Stop hurting America, you greasy two bit grifter. <laughs> two bit, I, I agree with as well. Now, if you don't remember what this is all about, Steve Bannon and a guy named Brian Colfidge were raising money to build their own wall on the US Mexico border. A complete and total absurdity, an obvious scam, and indeed it was. Here's just 20 seconds because this is all I can take from when they did this wallathon. Stephen K. Bannon and Brian Colfage. Welcome back. This is Stephen K. Bannon. We're off the uh, coast of Saint Tropez in uh, southern France in the Mediterranean. We're on the million dollar yacht. Yeah. Brian Colfage and uh, Brian Colfage, he took all that money from Build the Wall. No, we're actually in Sunland Park, New Mexico. <laughs> Well, it turns out that they really did abscond with the money. Uh, Brian Colfidge did. And uh, it, it's it's beyond parody that this is now where we are. Steve Bannon was um, a, a pardoned by Donald Trump on the federal charges for this build the wall scam. That pardon uh, presidential pardons don't apply to state charges. These are now state charges in the state of New York. And here it goes all over again. Uh, one other just really funny note, adding stupidity to absurdity. Steve Bannon, when surrendering yesterday, did yell out Trump won. <laughs> I mean, these people are, are parodies of themselves. Trump won. Biden's illegitimate. This. <laughs> oh, God, these people are pathetic. So we'll follow the trial and there is no presidential pardon coming this time. And that will be very interesting to see who doesn't love a good cereal, the crunchiness, the sweetness it satisfies in a serious manner. But then you grow up and now all the healthy cereals are boring and bland and they get soggy. And this is where Magic Spoon comes in. It is that sweet, crunchy texture you loved from childhood with zero grams of sugar, only four to five net carbs. Perfect if you're doing keto, only 140 calories per serving and packed with 14 to 15 grams of protein. Magic Spoon spent years developing the recipes. It's really the only cereal on the market to get the texture and the flavor right without the sugar and without a ton of carbs. They have flavors like cocoa, honey nut, fruity, peanut butter. Maybe you want to go adventurous. They've got blueberry muffin, maple waffle, cookies and cream or cinnamon roll. That brings back memories. I love Magic Spoon. The whole team does. But if you don't, you'll get a full refund. But I know it's about to become your new favorite cereal. You'll get five dollars off when you go to magicspoon.com slash Pacman. The link is down below.